Hey guys, it's Man 500 here, back with another video. I'm um, jumping right into Lure Review Month. I've been putting out a lot of videos lately, trying to get them out, um, <clears throat> trying to get them done. Um, I've got a lot to go through, and I hope you guys enjoy these videos. And stay tuned, I'm still doing the knife reviews and stuff like that, but for the month of February, I wanted to get out a whole bunch of fishing videos for my for my guys who are really into my fishing videos and thanks for all your support you guys are awesome guys um, and I appreciate the constructive criticism all of it and reading all your comments and everything um, and keep watching there's gonna be a lot more to come so here we go jumping right in fishing review month um, we're uh, doing another lure review a hard bait lure review this time here we go Rapala clack and crank I really love these lures. These are great, great crankbaits. You can't go wrong with these ones at all. Kind of a newer bait for uh, Rapala. Not so much anymore, but when they first came out, they are kind of, kind of a newer bait. And I'm going to explain some of the science behind these crankbaits. And as you can see, that one's kind of mucked. Shouldn't have done that. I left a little bit of grass in with the, uh, with the lure there. But let's get right into it. <clears throat> I know you guys want to hear the information and what I have to say about these crankbaits. First impressions are really good in the box, walking by them, it's really good. The first thing you notice, of course, is that disc right in the middle. Let's just talk about that right now, because I know you guys want to know all about it. You guys probably already know what it's all about already by now. Basically what it is, is one ball bearing inside of this two disc. There's one on each side, disc. You can hear it already. Um, tray like thing and it just as the bait moves back and forth in the water that's your rattle now traditional rattles I'm going to just pick on the live target lures here um, just have a couple ball bearings in them and as you move just hold the hooks here and as it moves around in the water it wiggles and you can kind of hear it not as loud as this though that's really attractive to the fish, and I really like it. Let's just talk about size here, just for a second. I know I'm jumping all around my talking points. Um, to me, this one is just a wee bit too big, especially for smallmouth, um, because sometimes that can just get a little bit too loud. With the smaller version here, this is the, let's take a little look. What size is that? That's. Rapala, clack and crank, 53. So with the 53 size, you can hear it, it's just a little bit more, a little bit more subdued than in its bigger brother, the 74. So just depending on what you want, largemouth bait, smallmouth bait. So that just that just depends on where you are and whatnot. The scale patterns, it's the scale patterns are the same ones that you see in the uh, the X wrap. Um, color patterns. Let's break out an X wrap here to show you guys can see. But it's kind of this same kind of same color scheme that they got going on. I believe that's laser imprinted, um, and I really like that that uh, pattern. It gives us some depth, um, so it's not just a flat. Here I am picking on the live target lure again. But it's this is a really good color pattern. Don't get me wrong, but it's flat. With this one, gives you a little bit more depth if you know what I mean. Um, you can kind of see the laser imprinting and it's just it feels like it's got more depth to it um, So yeah, that's that's a good part about it. I really like it The eyes are also really good like like I said same ones you find on the X wraps And that's been a big problem with my X wraps though So watch out for it find the eyes follow to these X wraps more times than I can count That's why I don't have a whole lot of them. So just determine what you want in your bait um, as far as I can tell, the live target eyes are going to hold in a, lo a little bit better than these ones. Um, but that'll come with time. This one's held up very well. This is the one that I've fished the most. So, yeah, the eyes have held up well in this one, but just something to look out for. And you've got a lot of, whole lot of different colors. I'll put Rapala's website down in the bottom there. So you guys just click on that link, and you'll see all their color patterns there. Hooks are VMC's treble, uh, treble hooks there. And then at the back... They've got the ultra wide gap, I think it's called, or something like that. Um, they've got that wide gap hook. To me, I don't know. I've actually considered taking that off. It doesn't really, it doesn't really do anything special. Okay, it doesn't add anything to the bait. It's basically just a wide gap hook on a treble, and I find that they can, those two can get caught up sometimes, 
And I don't know, I just don't really like that treble hook at the back. Just in my experience, not a whole lot of fish catch that hook. They usually catch like the first bunch or like those two or all of them at the back. And really just not really needed. It's just an over exaggeration in my opinion. Um, you guys might have had good luck with them. But for me, I think I caught one fish that was on, well, that was on just that one extra wide hook at the back. So, yeah, it's, I guess it's all right, but I don't really find the need for it. For me, I'd rather just have one like this, just a regular hook. Not even dress, just a regular hook would do me just fine. I don't really need that wide, that wide gap at the back. But, in that instance, they're very sharp, they come very sharp out of the box, and they're super high quality hooks. Just like I've said with VMC hooks before, they're very high quality hooks. You can't go wrong with VMC. Um, and they're one of the top well-known companies in the fishing industry. So yeah, I mean, for quality level, stuff like that, they're really good, but Rapala, I really don't need that extra wide gap at the back, sorry. Just my own opinion, um, for fishing the bait a lot. Materials, it's that hard plastic that you find on the X-Wraps, a little bit more well-known bait here. Um, same materials, same plastics, and same laser etching in the bait. <coughs> Depth, this one's going to be dive a little bit deeper. I believe this is like six feet, and then this one's like three to four. Um, so you make that, uh, that, uh, that determination when you want. Um, when you go deeper, you go bigger. When you go uh, shallower, you go smaller. So that's kind of a downside to the bait. I think you should have a deep version of the smaller one. So maybe a, a six foot version on this one. On this size, same size, just six foot. Um, and then same size, three foot. So it just depends on what you guys want. You're going to have to make that determination. Um, as far as the bill is concerned, very thick bill. Very well made. And I like the square bill. And as you can see, it's got some scratch, some scratch marks on it, and it's, from what I can tell, it holds up very well, just like all Rapala bills, Rapala bills do, um, except for a few exceptions. Depth, I already kind of talked about that. Weight, um, this one this is a heavier bait, so maybe that's the reason why they can't make a three-foot version of this size. This is definitely going to be a heavier bait than this one. Um, so yeah, just make your determination. This one's lighter. This one's gonna cast farther though. That's a good thing about this one. This one casts a long ways. This one casts shorter, but really not that bad. It's got that Rapala um, casting mechanism. I don't know how that all works and everything. Um, but yeah, both baits cast fairly long. Overall length, let's break out 11 and see how long this bait is. Hang on here. Let me find it. Here we go. So the big one, putting it on zero, about three and a half inches overall from the bill to the tip or the end, whatever you want to call it. And then on the smaller version here, little brother, it's going to be, get my finger out of the way, going to be about just a little under three inches. So that's a perfect size for a smallmouth. This is going to be um, a choice for you guys who go after the largemouth. Just depends. So the quality level is really, really high. You can't go wrong, especially with a bait like Rapala. They've been in the business for a really long time. Like I said, the quality level is really good. Um, but when we get on to price, it's going to be maybe just a little bit higher than some other different bait options. Um, so that's um, you're going to have to make that decision yourself. I think I paid around 10 bucks for these two lures both. So really not that bad um, when we get into some competitive options, which I'll get into right now. For the big one, definitely another Rapala option, actually. Um, the DT6. So there's one color. Here comes another color that I haven't shown on camera. Here's another one. So those are two for the bigger one there. Um, also for the bigger one, and for the smaller one, the Live Target Pumpkin Seed. So... Really, that's all the competitive options. Maybe even the live target smallmouth for a little one. So just determines what you want there. Um, the color patterns on these ones are really good, but the uh, these clack and cranks give you a lot of depth. Um, and these ones are just painted on. 
not that the paint job is really bad on these, but this one is just, it gives you a little bit more depth to the, to the pattern. And I've always said that about, about these wrap look pa color patterns, especially ones on the X-Wraps and the Clack and Cranks, like these ones. So just determine what you want there. Um, and as far as price is concerned, you're going to get a little bit better deal than you're going to get with the, uh, with the live targets. Anyways, guys, was Man 500 here. Stay tuned for more videos. Um, uh, Rapala, Clack and Crank. Really love this lure, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Got out all the information um, that I that you guys wanted to hear. I hope. And if you have any questions for me or comments or anything about this video, about lure review month or anything that you'd like to add, please go down to the comments and leave a comment. I highly encourage it. So, Woodsman 500 here, guys. Stay tuned for more videos. Lure review month. Let's keep going. We got a lot more uh, ground to cover with uh, fishing review months. So stay tuned.